popularity after the show was released. I still get questions about Barb. It's never going to end. She's going to haunt me for the rest. 10 Stranger Things Season 4 theories that make total sense. There's currently no release date for Stranger Things Season 4, but that hasn't stopped fans from wildly speculating about what might happen to all. Stranger Things 3 gave fans iconic 80s fashion, an incredible soundtrack, and an emotional ending. It also gave us plenty to think about ahead of Season 4. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Celeb Mania. Today we are going to be talking about the top 10 Stranger Things Season 4 theories that make total sense. Make sure you stay until number one, as you don't want to miss the most interesting and amazing theory in Stranger Things that's completely sensible. Number 10. Hopper may be a clone. Stranger Things fans knew Jim Hopper didn't really die in the season 3 finale, and they were proven right when the season 4 teaser revealed that Hawkins' erstwhile sheriff had indeed survived that explosion, but he was now being held as a prisoner in Russia. As put forward by Screen Rant, this theory wonders if the Hopper we see in the Season 4 teasers is actually a clone. The idea stems from the way Season 3's post credit scenes had strong The Thing vibes, as it featured a monster attacking folks in a snowbound outpost. Given that ST always wears its influences on its sleeve, maybe John Carpenter's classic horror, a known favorite of the Duffer Brothers, will inspire Season 4. This theory doesn't suggest that Hopper is dead, just that the one in Russia is a clone. Number 9. Lucas will have a central role in the story. Season 1 was heavily focused on Mike and him leading his friends to find Will and begin his relationship with Eleven. Season 2 was heavily focused on Will and dealing with his trauma of being stuck in the Upside Down and being attacked by the Mind Flayer. Season 3 didn't quite focus on anyone specifically like that, but Dustin did lead his own storyline, so you could call it the Dustin season. It's time for Season 4 to focus on Lucas. The character was at his most enjoyable in Season 3. Being an international setup for Season 4, focusing is heavily on him. How exactly will Season 4 focus on Lucas? It's hard to say exactly, but whatever the new supernatural occurrence is in Hawkins ends up having a direct effect on him. Number 8. All the main kids will be in the ninth grade. The Hawkins High School building will finally see Mike, Dustin, Lucas, and Max enter its halls in Season 4. A large part of Season 3 was the kids starting to realize that their childhoods are coming to an end. So, seeing the kids in high school will be a very interesting thing, especially given that Season 3 started to showcase the idea that everyone is starting to realize that their childhoods are ending. Also, Eleven is going to have to be starting high school without Mike, who has been her main guide to life ever since they met. But now, he's not there. So, it looks like Will will have to be the one to help her out. But at the same time, he's just starting out and learning how to navigate high school too. Number 7. The Bad Men from Season 1 will be coming back. Season 4 looks to be going back to a more Season 1 sort of style, in a lot of ways. One of which is that it looks like a lot of the same antagonists that our characters face in Season 1 will be coming back in Season 4. First up, in the Season 3 finale post credit scene, we saw that the Russians have a Demogorgon, and it is obvious that the Russians will still be an antagonist force in Season 4. Not just that, the main antagonist character in Season 1, besides the Demogorgon, was Dr. Brenner. He was seemingly killed at the end of Season 1, but Season 2 teased the idea of him still being alive still out there somewhere. Number 6. More people with powers will be revealed. The most controversial part of all of Stranger Things was the episode that focused solely on Eleven interacting with Eight, another girl who was experimented on by Hawkins' lab and had powers. A lot of people did not like that episode. In Season 4, we're going to be seeing more of these people revealed. Maybe not whole episodes focused on them, but still more people. Eleven doesn't have her powers anymore, so maybe someone, either in the Eleven group where Joyce moved, or back in Hawkins, will find a new person that is numbered, that has powers, and they can be the one to help out with these supernatural occurrences. More kids with powers might appear in Season 4 to help everyone in the grand finale. Number 5. Season 4 will feature two ongoing storylines. Season 1 had three storylines going on with everyone investigating the disappearance of Will in their own way. Season 2 was pretty centrally focused, with some characters going off on their own thing at times, and Season 3 had four concurrent storylines. Season 4 will feature two storylines one taking place in Hawkins, with typical creepy stuff going on there, and that will focus on Mike, Dustin, Lucas, Max, Steve, Robin, and Erica. The second storyline will be wherever Joyce decided to move everyone to, and Eleven, Will, Jonathan, and Joyce dealing with something new that happens wherever they're at. Number 4. Eleven has lost her powers. As if Hopper's death wasn't heartbreaking enough, the last minutes of the finale also includes the Byers family packing up and moving out of town. Gold star for survival instincts, for real. This choice, though, certainly disheartening, makes sense for the future of the show and expands potential plot avenues. In 2017, the Duffer brothers talked to Vulture about the importance of switching things up. 
a new location would save the show from falling into a rut, especially since it seems Elle has lost her powers, or they are lying suspiciously dormant. This may be a convenient time to revisit her siblings. Though season 2's 7th episode, The Lost Sister, polarized viewers, the Duffer brothers have irreversibly introduced the idea that more subjects of the Hawkins Lab experiments exist. If the Russians have a Demogorgon, perhaps that means they've enlisted the help of Elle's siblings to open the gate. Number 3. The fourth season could feature a huge clash in Russia. The very first moments of season 3 introduce a fresh batch of bad guys. Russian scientists and soldiers determined to reopen the gate to the upside down. A language book broke down the word Kamchakta and means stretching and exploding terrain. Another source explains how the name could derive from the land's native people, whose name translates to men of the far end. This could lend credence to the theory that the Russians have created or will create a portal between Hawkins and Russia. The showrunners could tie the season 4 plot into a real historical event. The possible fourth season could feature a huge clash in Russia that could even rival the Battle of Starcourt, or the gate could finally be closed and obliterated for real this time in the explosion. Number 2. Will Byers Might Come Out The third season finally gave fans some queer representation with the show's brilliant addition of Robin. All signs seem to point to an eventual romantic climax between Steve and Robin as the two grow closer and closer. Ultimately, Steve professes his feelings for Robin, and she tells him that she likes girls. Steve's immediate acceptance starkly contrasts with his season 1 character, who calls Jonathan Byers queer. Now another character's sexuality might be revealed in future seasons. Mike and Will butt heads, leading Mike to retort, it's not his fault you don't like girls. Both boys stop in their tracks, seeming to let the more significant meaning in those words sink in. But there is evidence that could refute this, as Wolfhard told The Hollywood Reporter that there were different variations of the line. It's not his fault if you don't like girls yet. He doesn't even know if it had to do with Will's sexuality. He thinks Mike was just mad. It's all up to the Duffers and what they want to do. Number 1. Eleven could be the next big villain. The most convincing of those fan theories hails from a Redditor known as WeedMonkey666, who makes a solid case for who will be the main villain in Stranger Things 4. It's Eleven and the idea behind it is pretty plausible. In the argument, the Redditor points out that both Will and Billy were possessed by the Mind Flayer in previous seasons through physical contact, while Will is in the Upside Down in Season 1 and Billy via a bite in Season 3. Then, towards the end of Season 3, Eleven's body is also attacked by the monster and a bit of the creature gets stuck in her leg, which she seemingly rips out via her telekinetic powers. Afterward, however, her powers are inaccessible, perhaps she exhausted them? Or maybe it's something else. What if Weed Monkey 666 postulates this means that Eleven is now infected and could potentially be controlled by the Mind Flayer. It could control her as it did with Billy, Will, and the Flayed, to eventually destroy her or use her to get more control. While you're here, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share our channel for more interesting and exciting videos. We'll see you there.